not in Hill Carnival is the place where you can express yourself. You know, no matter who you are, you can have fun and be joyful. And this is the carnival you want to be at. Remember, it's not in Hill Carnival. I'm sure this, this, is this is where I first performed at Carnival, here at Rampage stage. <laughs> Not everybody gets to perform at such a legendary stage for their first time performing at Carnival. And um, like, my manager was letting me know, do you know, do you know how big this is? And I was like, I know, I know, but you're scaring me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? They were so welcoming. Everybody was just like, ah. I don't even think anyone even knew who I was at the time. But I just remember when I did sing. Say you are low, 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 low. <laughs> Are you all getting it? And, and that's what I was doing it and everyone started singing it back and it was just like, it was phenomenal. It was an amazing moment, you know. Being born in Jamaica, you know, and, um, and coming here and performing at Carnival, I felt empowered, you know, I felt like I was really out here representing. Jamaica played a massive part in who I am, you know, as a person as well, not just my music, but as a person. Alakai, listen, you're so, so talented. The world's gonna mirror how you're feeling about your music, wow. trust me, I can see it. Coming from Jamaica, I know you were young, but did it feel like what some of the festivals that were going on there, was it, did it feel like kind of home in a nuanced way? Basically, yeah, for me, carnivals, it's, it's, it's like a street rave in Jamaica. Shh. It's like you're gonna learn about culture, yeah. food, senses. It's just everything is sort of like accentuated when you go carnival, yeah. or you listen to dance hall or reggae music. I grew up on reggae and it's funny because I've lived and breathed it and it was fond memories that my dad really brought through. He came over from Grenada when he was young and he introduced me to all these reggae and dancehall artists that for me is kind of was the inspiration for, for me making my music. When I think of what it must have been like when he first came over um, as a black man from Grenada, coming over to the UK, kind of being an odd man out because of the Windrush period of time, it was transition and change but the Notting Hill was representative of that and it felt like it was we could all share and we could listen to music and we could be a community. I love my dad in a, in a, in a deeper way now because I think he did so much more than I maybe had realised. Music has definitely given me a voice and put, given me a platform and I'm, I'm being a black woman as well I just want to make sure I do the right thing you know I'm trying to say with, with the voice that I've got and I'm aware of the power of that voice as well. Notting Hill is something that has inspired me i can feel that it's inspired you i feel like it brings us all together it's something that we miss right now yep there's there's legacy there's history in notting hill but what it represents right now i feel is just like it's a beautiful multicultural melting pot of music that there's no divide and it's almost like for those two days people are just like i've come here to have a good time and i want to hear good tunes definitely togetherness if you want, we can, we'll get in and do a, at least get a session in and just vibe some music, you know what I mean? Why not? Yeah! It's a couple of dancehall records just to kind of set the tone and then we'll... Yeah, trust me.